Hi, I'm Chris with the irrigation information website smartirrigation.com and today we're going to show you how to adjust a newly installed Rainbird 5000 series rotor which also applies to the 42SA Plus or the 52SA rotor. Before we go any further, it's important to note that the adjustments in this video is only for newly installed Rainbird 5000 rotors. And if you want to adjust an older rotor that's been in the ground for more than a couple weeks, please refer to our video linked in the description below on how to adjust a used rotor. Here we have a Rainbird 5000 series rotor. This one has three holes on top. If it was a 5000 series plus, it would have another one in the middle that is a flow stop to stop the stream from flowing. Now we're going to pull up the stem using the adjustment tool, insert it in the pull up slot and turn 90 degrees and you can pull it right up. That allows us to locate easily right above the nozzle. The nozzle retention screw also can be used for distance adjustment of the stream. And this is the arc adjustment slot there. Now that I have the rotor pulled up, I can show you the components of it. So we have the case or the body that's in the ground. We have the riser or the stem. We have the turret, which is the part that goes back and forth. And we have the nozzle. These Rainbird rotors are left stop. That means when traveling counterclockwise, where they stop is considered the left stop. And that is not adjustable with a flathead screwdriver or the adjustment tool. The right stop is when it's traveling clockwise where it stops. That is adjustable with the flathead screwdriver or adjustment tool. And it can be adjusted using this slot here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set the left stop because the left stop impacts the right stop. So we always set the left stop first on the Rainbird rotor. So we want to determine where that is by gently turning to see which direction the rotor wants to turn in right now. Looks like it wants to turn to the right. So we're going to go all the way over and click. Once we hit the click, we've hit the right stop. And then we go counterclockwise back to find the left stop. And it clicked here, so that's where it is. Now this new rotor has an installation feature called a slip clutch. This disappears after about a couple weeks, so do not use this method on an older head that's been in the ground used for more than two weeks. Or you could damage the gears. So now we've hit the slip clutch, we can turn past the left stop gently and it will slip into place where we want it. Now we've got the left stop determined, we can go back clockwise, find the right stop, and the left stop is there. Now that we've set the left stop, we can use a flathead screwdriver or the Rainbird adjustment tool to set the right stop using the adjustment slot here. It has a plus and a minus, which means clockwise increases the arc and counterclockwise decreases the arc. So we're going to see where the right stop is currently by gently turning on the head to the right and it clicks over here. So it's in the wrong position. We want to increase. So we go clockwise to increase and then we can go back to the left stop where it stops and clicks and then go right. Now it's a little better, but we have to go a little farther. And there we have it. Now we've rust set the head. The next step is to actually turn the water on and check the exact location of the stream and fine tune it while the water is running. What we want to do is see where it naturally turns to the left. So it looks like we're hitting the driveway too much. We want to turn it clockwise a bit. Unfortunately, we cannot use the slip clutch feature when the head is running. It only can be used when the water is off or you could damage the gears. So we have to actually try using a wrench on the base. Never use the wrench on the stem or you could damage the plastic, which would in turn 
damage the rubber seal when it goes up and down over time and prematurely reduce the lifespan of your head. So we're going to get onto the base here with the pliers and we're going to go clockwise in the ground. Hopefully someone used thread seal tape on the threads below to make it easier. And it is turning in the ground. So we'll see if it's on target. Looks like that's exactly where we want it. Now it's time to fine tune the right stop while the rotor is running. So we're gonna let it naturally turn to the right and see where it stops. Looks like it's a little short of the target. So you can actually increase the arc by turning clockwise on the adjustment. But you have to do that while it's rotating in the direction you're turning. So we want to turn clockwise, the head has to be rotating clockwise. If we want to turn counterclockwise to decrease the arc, we have to have the head turning counterclockwise. So let's get it turning clockwise, and we can increase just a little bit, right turn on the screwdriver, and see where it ends naturally by itself. Just a little bit more clockwise, so I'm going to go all the way to the left, click over, and then let it travel right. A little bit of clockwise, see where it ends. And that is right on. Now we're at an optional fourth step, and that's if you need to reduce the distance of the stream, you can use the nozzle retention screw to do that. Now we recommend you only do that up to 25% or if you need to do more, get a different nozzle, one with a lower distance or a low angle and that would be an easier way to do that. So what we do is we go in here and we turn clockwise on the nozzle retention screw. You want to get the adjustment tool or the flathead screwdriver in there and it's going to actually push down the stream. Try not to stop the head from rotating, so we don't want to damage the gears. So do it quickly. And we're going to push down the distance of the stream. And it looks like that would do it. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to set a newly installed Rainbird 5000 rotor, which also applies to the 42SA Plus or the 52SA rotor. And if you want more smart irrigation tips, check out our website at smartirrigation.com and remember to hit like and subscribe.